Alright, so this here is the Linux Mint 18.3 beta, and we're going to be having a look at that right now on Linux Lounge. Alright, so as I just said, this is the beta of Linux Mint 18.3. Now, this version of Linux Mint is really just a point update, but it does add a lot of cool stuff. Um, now, it's still based on the long-term support release of Ubuntu and all that, as you would expect from Linux Mint. Um, now, what is important to note is, as I said, this is a beta release. I'll leave a download link in the description. However, I don't recommend you try this out on real hardware, purely because it's a beta. It does seem to be relatively stable, but uh, you never really know. Uh, with that being said, though, this is well worth trying out in a virtual machine. And when it does officially get released, um, what is it? It's well worth installing or upgrading to because there is a lot of cool features here. And um, I'll be showing you some of those right now. Now, the first um, really, you know, sort of thing that's changed is there's quite significant improvements to the um, Mint Y theme. So if we just open up the settings, go on to themes, uh, mainly in the you know, form of icons and that. So let's click that. And last time I used this theme, the folders and uh, the software center and that um, were not themed at all. Now, the software st center still isn't themed, however, the folders are, and it looks very nice. But let's just set it back to the Mint X, because I still vastly prefer that theme. Now, the biggest thing that's changed in the release is by far the new Mint software center. And if we just open up that up now, there's a lot of cool things here. Now this here vaguely reminds me of the, um, you know, GNOME Software Center. And one thing I would say about this is, I don't like it nearly as much as the older Software Center. Where it's very simple, just click on whatever you want and get moving. Uh, however, it is easier for new users because it shows all the software that's, you know, big, popular, available, whatever. Um, and, you know, you got all your usual stuff like WhatsApp and Spotify. But what's interesting here is flat packs. Linux Mint now supports flat packs. And as you can see here, there is a lot of software you can get through that. You can get, um, you know, GNOME, Twitch, Spotify, Skype, all sorts of proprietary applications that wouldn't be in the default repos. But like I say, it's a flat pack, so you can, you know, you can grab it, you can install it. However, um, in my experience, I've tried. Uh, installing some of these and they don't seem to work and that's most likely because this is a beta release um, so I would imagine the full release it will work but for now it does not unfortunately um, now moving forward uh, there's a few uh, applications that have been modified in that and updated namely all the you know Linux Mint X apps which are you know pretty good stuff um, but uh, two important additions, not updates, but additions in um, Linux Mint 18.3 are Redshift and Timestamp. Not Timestamp, but Timeshift, rather. Now, Redshift, effectively, what this is, is it will turn your screen slightly red, um, you know, in the evenings and that, to prevent eye strain. Uh, most of the big operating systems nowadays seem to have that feature, so it's a good one to include. Um, but more interestingly, there is a whole um, sort of backup system here called Timeshift. Um, now, also, there's a kind of another backup tool, and I will show you both of these. First and foremost, I will show you this one. Basically, what this is, you can back up and restore the contents of your home directory and your software selection um, which like I say it's a good thing to have in case you know you want to completely move over to a new Linux main install whatever you want to do uh, you can restore it you can select your Mac to restore but more importantly you can back up select where you want to save it to and there you go it'll back up and if you want to restore it simple stuff you literally just go back into the tool um, like so, and then hit restore. And I can see this useful, you know, if you've, what is it, needed to reinstall Linux Mint for whatever reason. Well, you can back up and restore your personal data and your software selection, so there's no faffing around with, uh, you know, 
other backup solutions than that, which I think is a good feature. Now, uh, this feature in Linux Mint 18.3, as I say, has been sort of completely rewritten and changed that, so, you know, that's a, that's a new addition in there. But more interesting is this. Now, basically, what this is, is it's a feature that will enable you to um, back up all the sort of files on your system and that. Not your personal files and that, your um, system files. So, for example, if a update destroy something, break something, whatever, um, this here will sort of restore that, and as you can see, you can set it to automate, which is a good thing to have in there. But the whole idea is, you can create a backup and restore a backup. Um, now, this is quite a big feature, and I might have to make a separate video sort of demonstrating how this works, but... Um, you, you know, the whole idea is, as I say, you can back up your system, restore it, and you might be asking, how is this useful if, you know, your system won't boot? Well, you can actually back up, boot Linux Mint up live, and you can restore that backup live onto your hard drive. Uh, and so then it should, hopefully, in theory, boot. Now this, this is a good feature for troubleshooting. So you don't need to muck around modifying files, you can literally just restore a backup, roll back, and you're good to go. Um, and now this is a good feature, especially for new users who might not, you know, what is it, know what they're doing. And it also should be, in theory, easy to walk someone through using it, so, like I say, good feature. I will have to make a separate video on this at some point. Um, now, to be honest, with this being a point release, that's kind of about it in terms of, like, you know, really interesting um, updated features. Um... But as I say, hopefully, you know, the flat packs get sorted out so uh, you can use those, which would be a really great feature to have. Um, but yeah, that's about it. When this uh, 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 update gets released, you'll probably get a lot of people, you know, asking, should you update? My answer to that is yes, absolutely, if only for, you know, the new software center and the backup features. Um, well, that's about it, really. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time on Linux Lounge.